This is the solution for 915 and 916 is uh, outside. We have uh, the brushes here. This is a, a three millimeter aluminum PCB. Uh, and this is a sensor for reading the RPM. So all right, Oshkosh 2023 here. And uh, we've got some options here now for uh, in-flight adjustable props. And one I haven't seen before, and it's very interesting, so I want to share it with you. So um, Andrea, is it? Yes, it's my name. We are a company from Italy. And it's 15 years that in Europe we produce uh, only constant speed system. Basically, and the company is FP. FP Propeller is the name of the company. We are located in Italy, in the north of Italy, and uh, our main uh, business is a constant speed system. Okay, and you make the entire system, or just the hub and the controller? Yes, uh, yeah, we may, our um, idea is to take. Uh, uh, well-known uh, blade from from the market, but uh, in in uh, in these years we have uh, decided to go with the U.S. Uh, most famous uh, propeller maker like Sensenic, uh, Whirlwind, and Warp Drive, and uh, to install this blade in our hub. So you work with all the popular yeah. blades. Yes, uh, we make the electronic uh, to con to control the hub. The hub is a motor, uh, the electric part uh, to, <laughs> to have a, a full constant speed system, uh, full automatic. Okay. So both electric and hydraulic options? Yes, uh, we have uh, electric, we start with electric and after uh, 10 years we move to also to hydraulic. So now the customer can choose between two or three blade, uh, electric and hydraulic and uh, the blade mainly depend of uh, the engine for sure and the aircraft so we have a big blade for uh, store aircraft uh, we have a shorter blade for high cruise speed uh, aircraft uh, and so on okay so what uh, is uh, is this manufacturer is it carbon is it aluminum or is it okay. machined cast <laughs> no, all our sheets are not cast because uh, uh, we are worried about some problem with the cast. So all these parts are made from one single billet of Ergal aluminium. So all our parts are in Ergal aluminium, except for the... i show you. Except for the shank uh, of the blade that is in C40 steel because we need more strength. Uh, all these parts are manufactured from a certified company and uh, we make the um, setup, uh, installation, uh, dynamically balancing and alignment of the blade. So our goal is to have a very low maintenance uh, constant speed system. So otherwise, we cannot sell all over the world. Uh, our system have a TBO of 2,000 hours, and uh, in this period, you only have uh, once a year to, or to check uh, if there is no corrosion, if there is no water inside, uh, and that's all. All right, so let's talk about control for a second here, both electrically and hydraulically. Um, how do you control this? How do you adjust the blades okay um, our our system have two wire uh, if you put a 12 volt on this wire you go in one direction if you reverse the 12 volt you got you go in the opposite direction so basically a toggle switch is enough to control manually our our prop is, is this a linear actuator like a worm gear yeah is a, a screw a, a motor on the screw the screw uh, uh, is here and we have this kind of uh, system that uh, changes the linear movement to a uh, cam follower, so to a pitch changing system. Uh, the, um, the system is the same for hydraulic, but instead of uh, uh, a motor, we have uh, a piston that is d driven by the um, oil from the Rotax engine. Uh, in this case of hydraulic, you have to add a um, hydraulic governor that is not produced by us because it's is similar to the uh, to the engine. It's not. Uh, uh, we use uh, normally just Troy Governor, that is a Czech company that produce uh, a lot of this kind of stuff and work uh, properly. Okay. And what does uh, this system weigh? I guess maybe compared to some other competitors or whatnot. Or okay. I'm not very familiar with with the weight and the construction yes, of yes. these. Uh, we are. Our system is light. Uh, compared to the constant speed system for sure we start from eight kilo 
depending on the weight of the blade. Uh, our two blade or three blade with wall drive is around eight uh, kilograms, that is uh, <laughs> uh, 16, um, uh, 16 pound and uh, we reach 20, 22 pound uh, maximum for the big blade uh, like the one installed in this aircraft uh, from KFA. Yeah, so one of the things I learned very recently in propellers and engines, you have to match the engine with propeller. There's something called uh, the the weight of iner inertia or something like that. Yes, the, uh, yes, it is a uh, moment of inertia. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a maximum amount that an engine can handle, especially an engine with a gearbox. And we talked off camera for a minute, um, like Rotax specifically. You know, there is a limit there, and where are we at with that? Yes, uh, in the user manual of all Rotax engine, there is a limit of moment of inertia. Otherwise, you see, it's like um, <laughs> a, 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 you have a lot of weight, and when you reduce a, the big, speed, a big flywheel, yes. essentially. <laughs> yes, and you can break the gearbox. All our blade is tested, and our prop is tested, and is below the, uh, the the limit of the Rotax for sure. The Mm, I, the rotors with uh, more power can accept uh, more uh, moment of inertia. Yes. And uh, the Rotax, we'll talk that specifically for a second here, already has a through hole through the prop shaft to be able to accommodate your electrical and hydraulic. Yes. Uh, Rotax 912, 914 series have a shaft. Uh, always uh, the shaft is always so our solution i can show you, you there i don't know if you can see on the camera okay uh, uh, basically you go we go inside the um, gearbox and this is a, a good solution is a 20 year, 15 years that we use this solution uh, because you have a very low movement here for every revolution so this part uh, we lo uh, we uh, for entire life <laughs> of the of the prop uh, you never have to change the brushes because uh, it does not uh, make any and uh, for uh, 915 and 916 that is um, ready for uh, installation of hydraulic system if you go want to go with electric, we have a different solution that is uh, outside. Basically, this uh, brushes is outside, and uh, uh, be because we can't pass uh, inside. Because uh, 915 uh, and 916 as well is born uh, for hydraulic system. About how long does it take to install this installation? Uh, um, a skilled uh, mechanic can install uh, the prop uh, in, uh, I think, two hours. And also you have uh, some, uh, the connection, uh, depending on the plane and, and the cockpit, <laughs> but uh, the installation of the propel itself is to our, because we provide everything ready to installation. So you don't have to adjust nothing, you have to install the hub with the C screw, and also uh, and after add the, <laughs> the, the, the three blade. Uh, the installation of the electronic governor, depending on the wiring, this is a solution for 915 and 916 is outside we have the brushes here this is a 3 mm aluminum pcb and this is a sensor for reading the rpm in case of 912 and 914 the system is not like this but go inside the gearbox and exit in this part of the gearbox so so the connection can is not visible but is inside the gearbox we are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com Foxtrot 95 Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. So back back to the, what is the amp draw of the system in use? 
uh, our system use when it's moving around one ampere but uh, only one amp yes but consider that uh, you are not working uh, all the time usually you have a duty cycle of five percent so uh, because uh, when you're flying you are not you don't need to move uh, the pitch and our pitch changing is very fast is 3.5 degree per second it means that when you turn on to move uh, 300 uh, for example you have one second so you use one second one ampere and uh, it's not drain the battery <laughs> uh, because uh, we have a, a very all our system is on uh, bearing so for this reason we, ha we use a very low power okay. and now what everybody's probably asking and waiting for here is what is the the price point um, for e and do you have different do you get just the hub or do you like to sell the entire system with with the blades we have to sell the entire system because uh, we have a particular cement technology to fix uh, the blade in our hub is not is not possible that the customer make uh, by himself otherwise uh, after one year uh, he start uh, to misalignment uh, to have some misalignment in our system we cement uh, in uh, our factory uh, with a compound and we put in oven so for entire life of the blade of the propeller uh, you never have problem of alignment for this reason we sell the complete uh, uh, propeller and the cost range for from uh, five uh, thousand and five hundred US dollar to eight hundred eight thousand US dollar depending uh, the price of the hub is almost the same depending of the cost of the blade because uh, the different brand of blade have different price so let's start at the smaller and possibly like a uh, hundred horsepower Rotax installation what would that run um, on a Rotax yes for the for 100, for 100 horsepower uh, yes, uh, we start from uh, 100 horsepower, and uh, we our uh, range of production can reach 180 horsepower. You go 100 to 180 horsepower. H how much would a system be for a 100 horsepower engine? The price uh, oh, for 100 horsepower is uh, the low range that I told before, so 5,500, and uh, for uh, um, the the. the mm, 150 starting from 140 150 we have to move around uh, uh, 7000 8000 uh, um, US dollar where can um, if i wanted to purchase one of these where are you where can i find you on the web and obviously you're in italy but uh, yes, uh, where are you on social media and that kind of stuff yes uh, our uh, website is uh, uh, wfp uh, minus sign propeller.com and um, we have uh, we are uh, we can sell all around the world here uh, in uh, in canada we have a dealer that can also install the prop uh, because they've already buy uh, five of our prop and install it properly both electric and hydraulic so can help uh, the customer if they have some uh, some question and also in our website you can download the user manual as some video that help for the installation also before uh, by the, the propeller to check how easy is the installation. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for the quick tour through your booth here. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode.